Yo, 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 what up? It's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you NPB Picks and Predictions, NPB Parlay of the Day, all the NPB today on this Monday night slate or Tuesday slate, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't know, the overnight of Monday to Tuesday, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, we got a full slate for you, luckily. My ear's still all fucked up, so we're going to try to make this video a little short and sweet. And with all that said, let's start it, man. But hit me up in the comments. Hit that like button if you're new. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when the video drops. And with all that said, let's start the fucking video. Just like I said before. Alright guys, first game of the night here, we got Yamori and Yako, we got Ayori Yamasaki versus Kohiro Yoshimura. Uh, so this game here, uh, Kohiro Yoshimura has a couple good games he's pitched, but for the most part, he's not doing too well. And I like the way Yamori's looking lately, especially with Iori pitching, so we're gonna go Yomori pretty much the full way here, first half, and full game. Next up, we got Hiroshima and Shinichi. Uh, we got a good pitching, great pitching matchup here, actually, with, um, Masato Morishito and Hiroto Takahashi. So when I look at this, I would probably lean Chinichi a little bit, but Takahashi got beat up last time, but I think he's going to bounce back. I think both pitchers are going to pitch good. I'm looking at unders in this one. It's only a four, though, full game. I wanted to go over, but... And if you look at some of their previous matchups, they got a lot of games that go under four. So we're going to probably stick with both unders here. I'm not expecting many runs, but if for some reason they score a lot of runs, it's not going to surprise me. But I like the unders. I think it's the best play there. Next up, Seibu and Lotte, Kona Takahashi versus Kazuya Ohima. So, Mr. Ohima over here, he actually pitches pretty decent against Seibu. Uh, he's got a, he's pitched like six, six starts against them, and five of them were wins. Uh, the other one was a no decision, so it's not like he lost against them. He usually gives up one or zero runs, pretty much. I don't think there was any twos, maybe one two, but he pitches pretty good. And Kona Takahashi... He's been struggling this year. He's still looking for his first W. And it's not going to come tonight. So, I got Lotte first half. And Lotte the whole way. I think I might have did... Uh, I might have hit an over or something too. I forgot what I did. But I like Lotte to win. And I like some runs to be scored a little bit there. Next up. Hanshin and Yoko. Masashi Ito versus Shinichi Onuki. So both teams are pretty decent over the last five. They're scoring a lot of runs. Um, and I think tonight should be some runs scored here also. But I'm leaning more towards Yoko. I like Onuki. Masashi Ito, he's faced Yoko a couple of times. And he's usually given up at least three or four runs each time. So I'm expecting Yoko to win tonight. And I'm expecting some runs. Next up, Radikin and Nippon. Takahiso Hawakawa versus Shomi Kanamura. Uh, both pitchers are pretty good against the other team here. Um, Hawakawa... I think against Nippon, it was he hasn't given up more than two runs in a start versus them. And Kanamura, uh, same, no more than two runs in a start versus Radikin. So we're looking at the unders in this game. 
I think it should be a nice pitching matchup today. And then next up, we got Orox and Softbank, Daiki Tahima, and Livan Monela. Uh, Monela, uh, obviously, is a good pitcher. He pitches really good against Orox, too. And I think, what was it? Orox has scored five runs in their last five, I think it was. Something crazy. Softbank's only averaging like two runs per game, so we're looking at unders in this one because Tahima's not a bad pitcher either. Softbank's got him for like three, four, three, four, um, a couple times. They got him for nothing more than that, but uh, so we got Softbank first half, and I'm taking Softbank on the run line tonight. All right, guys, so hold up for the parlay. All right, so here we are in the first half, guys. I think I got one, two minutes. Oh, no, I'm cool. We can do two parlays here, it looks like. Um, hold on one second. All right, so first game, like I just said, SoftBank minus half a run, first half. Next one, we got the Cebu and Chiba game, where I got Chiba minus half a run and over three and a half, first half. Hanshin and Yoka, I like the over four, and I think it was four of their five last games, they went over this in the first half, so I think they will again tonight. Um, I do like that Yoko play too, but uh, I'm just gonna stick with that over. Then this one, this one, I don't even want to play this one because under two, you guys know how I feel about under twos. I should just take the over, so I think it could end up being two and be a push either way. Probably safer to do that. Let's go with that, man. Fuck it. That's what I'm doing. It's probably the safer play. What the hell happened here? It doesn't like me. Maybe it's telling me not to change it. I don't know. I guess you could always take the plus half a run with Hero. Probably do that. Because if anything, I think it would be tied, you know? 1-1 one, one or even 0-0. Zero, zero. Fuck it, man. I'm staying with the under, guys. I hate changing my shit after I pick it, so. Actually, fuck it. We're keeping it. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm a little undecided on that one, but, uh, yeah, I'll go with that. I think it's gonna end up being a two anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter, so. Whatever. Uh, then we got Yamori, minus half a run. Uh, Radikin and Nippon under three and a half. So now, if we go with the over three and a half, we're looking at a 459 payout. Not too bad there. Let me punch that in, keep fixing bet slip. Now if we go this way, we're looking at a 486 payout. That's a Ten dollar bet, obviously. I think you guys know that, but just to let the newer people know that's what it is. So there you go. All right, guys. So if you want to play something different in this first half, go ahead. Maybe even uh, let's see, run totals. Huh. I think you can play any one of those and be safe, man you wanted to switch it up, but uh, yeah, that's right. We'll stick with what we got, right? All right, guys, hold up for the full game there. All right, here we are again. Now into the full game. We got Fukaka run line. Uh, then Seibu, we got two plays here again. Over seven and money line. Lote, 
Shitty price on the money line. What else is new? Yoko money line. Under four. I think they could be over on that. Well, be at that two. And then, uh, I think it's going to be a tie, honestly, man. Like a 2-2 two -two game or something. I wish this was four and a half, man. I almost feel like we should do a four and a half here. Let's see what's the price difference. 146. Why don't we do that, guys? If you can do that, do that. If not, play to under four. But I think that's better play than that there. I don't know. If you're on DraftKings, you could probably do that. But if you're somewhere else, you might not be able to. So... We'll do it with the under four. Also, just to show it. But um, that's what we're doing there. And then we got Yamori on the money line. And then we got Hokido and Radigan under six and a half. So, the payout here is probably not going to be that great. Um... How am I going to do this? So, if we take off that and this, yeah, a 291 payout, yeah, that sucks. For this one, so let me just punch that in here. It's kind of shitty there, I'm going to play it, oh fuck it for now. And then if we went with the over and the under four and a half, it's a six, three, six, three, sorry. All right, and then I'm going to fuck with this real quick and just pop that under four in there and see what that does. So if you played this one like that. I guess I'll so throw something on this. Uh, and this is a 408 payout. So if you guys uh, can't do the under four and a half, this would be the better play, I think. As long as they go over seven here, man, Seibu and Lote, which they should. I think they're going over three and a half for sure. So, three more runs off the bullpen. Why not? What are they thinking here? Over three and a half, over two and a half runs. Four, yeah, I think we'll be all right there. So, that's that, guys. So, here's that one. And it is a 408 payout there. So, if you don't have the four and a half, play that and you'll be straight. All right, guys. Well, have a great fucking night. Let's get that money tonight. I'm sure we all can use some again. So let's get a nice hit tonight. All right, guys. Have a great night. And kiddos out. Peace, peace.